Hey, hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. As you can see here on the screen, this is my new website. I just opened it today. This is uh, today, it's the 28th of January 2021. And I just want to go through with you guys some a couple of things here that I've been working on in the last weeks because uh, it's not only that my website got redesigned and you know with a new logo and everything else but I was actually thinking about uh, several things uh, for example you know how to make the Linux channel or the, the YouTube channel sorry uh, a little bit more uh, Linux focused and and of course the logo came up and I decided to somehow really focus now on the Linux um, for the you know for the topic of the channel and i thought a new logo um offers more focus the other logo was structured for another kind of business this one is just really for the linux channel and it's really from a tech enthusiast uh, from a tech enthusiast so i thought it's um uh, it fits much better to the purpose of the channel and also of the website now um, i want to share with you actually a couple of things that i went through when doing this because it's not only that I redesigned the website with a new logo and, you know, it looks a little bit more like a terminal, um, but uh, also what's behind the website, because I decided actually to move uh, from, um, let's say, uh, a standard host. Uh, I wanted to find actually a host that uh, allows me to manage basically my website, but also allows me to manage my server. And so after looking around, I found a couple of them. And just to make sure, just a disclaimer here, this video is not sponsored by anybody that you see in this video, any company that you will see in this video. No one is sponsoring this. Everything what you see here are my opinions only. So I have tried them out. Uh, I've tried out several of those um, because they all offer more or less uh, some free uh, days of usage that you can try out the service. And in the end, I actually decided to, uh, to go with Linode. And let me show you why. If I go here to Linode, and I'll just proceed here and log in very quickly. And I'll enter my username and the password. And here we are logging now into Linode. So I actually tried it out before I moved my website here uh, because I wanted to understand a little bit how it works and what I can do with it. And I found out actually that it's not only working or performing better than I was used to before uh, than my previous host, but it's also much cheaper. And of course, this is somewhere that you need to know what you're doing. Uh, it's something that you'll have to set up yourself for what I need is actually absolutely perfect. And so when I began, actually, I thought, hmm, what can I do here? I mean, I can create uh, basically a machine and, you know, I can say, uh, for example, I want to create a Debian machine or CentOS, or I can create also an Arch machine. There is also Arch Linux in here somewhere. And uh, yeah, but then what can I do? I can choose here the memory and, you know, it's going to cost you $5 a month. This is a small one and you have one gigabyte of RAM and 25 gigabytes of storage. Okay. And then, you know, and then you would have to do what? You have to maybe install a web server or whatever. I, I had no idea. But then I wanted to just see how it works. So I just came here to the marketplace and I chose basically WordPress. And, and then down here, I just filled in the requirements. So my email address and the, uh, web, uh, the WordPress title and so on. And then in the end, I could choose also the region. The thing is with uh, uh, WordPress, there is only a Debian image, which is fine. And then you can choose basically your machine. So for my website, what you're seeing right now uh, here on this tab, I chose actually the Nanode. So it has one gigabyte of RAM and 25 gigabytes of space that I can always increase later if I need to. And the performance is absolutely fine. Um, I don't suffer from anything in here. So what I did, I basically created this and then I went ahead on my old website and I created a backup for that. I cloned it and then I imported the clone, uh, the backup into this new uh, uh, website here on Linode. And, and that was one thing. Then after that, I um, basically went ahead here and went to the domains. And I went to my registrar and I pointed actually the name servers from my registrar to Linode. 
otherwise I couldn't configure the domain here. But once I've done that, I went here and I registered the domain, uh, not registered, but I wanted to configure the domain here with Linode. So I just made create a domain. And um, basically then I could um, edit anything what I want here. So the first thing I did is to create the A record. The A record is where your website is pointing to, which you can see once you have Linode, uh, once you have the Linode working, uh, you will see the IP address here. If you open the Linode here, you will see you have your IPv4 and your IPv6 address. So you could put that in there and basically that's it. Now, if you want to have other services like mail and stuff like that, or you want to ver uh, verify your website with Google, then you need to also edit other uh, parameters, but that's pretty straightforward. And once I've done that, basically the website was up and running in a few hours because it needs a little time for DNS to propagate through the internet. Now, the last thing what I had to do was to actually um, open up here my Linode and go to the console, which you can open from here, from the launch uh, leash console, or you can open it also from your terminal because once you have that actually set up here, you could, have, you could actually open up any terminal um, let me actually do this very quickly here. And if I go full screen and increase the font size, I could type in now SSH and then root at, and then my domain, which is eflinux.com and hit enter. Now I already put the, I already logged in in there. That's why it's not asking me for the identity. So I just need to enter my password, which I created when I created my Linode. And now I am logged in into my machine. So from here, we can type in, for example, uname-r. If I can type uh, dash r, and you can see we are running kernel 419. So it's an older kernel, but it's a very, very stable kernel. Now here we are on Debian. So we could, uh, we could run, for example, apt update and hit enter. We would see how many packages how many packages we could upgrade right now we are up to date so there's nothing to do but what i did at the end i came in here and i installed the ssl certificate with a certbot so i had to install certbot and python certbot apache and then run basically cert uh, certbot uh, dash apache and then i could configure basically my domain it took really literally like one minute and once that was done i had my ssl and my padlock on my website and I was ready to go. So let me close this and I go back to my Linode here. And that's that was as, that was basically everything what I had to do. Now the website performs really fast here, and you know if you run uh, once out of space, for example, you could go here to the three dots and say, okay, I want to resize my machine because I need more space or more performance. So I could choose the second one, for example, which has two gigabytes of RAM. Um, and you know, it's going to make it basically uh, by itself. So you just have to choose here, auto or resize disk and confirm and click resize and you're good to go. Now, what I did here on Linode, actually, there was a website. If I find a link to it, I will leave, I will leave it in the video description below, uh, where they give you a hundred dollars credit so that you can try out, uh, Linode, um, you know, to see how it works again. Linode is not sponsoring this video. I found out actually, uh, I found out about the credit myself. I knew the existent, uh, existence of Linode, but I've never tried, I never tried it out before, but I have to say, I really like it. And, you know, here you basically have to do everything yourself. You don't have a, uh, you do have a support, of course, in the community, but it's not like a typical host where you, you know, where you can, uh, you know, chat with support. And the, so you have to basically manage everything yourself here. But if you're watching this channel, chances are you can do that. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to host a website or a WordPress blog or a WordPress blog or any other thing, if you go here to the marketplace, you have a lot of choices between WordPress, Drupal and so on. Uh, it's fairly simple actually to do and it's actually fairly cheap depending of course on your needs so if you never tried it out uh, you can explore it and if you tried out already Linode let me know what you think about it I'm also curious about your experience now also a couple of other things uh, about the website that I would like to make you aware of is one I opened up now GitLab I have a GitLab page where I put basically all my dot files now not all dot files that I did on the channel are already there but other than that you can go to GitLab here and when you click here you will be redirected to my GitLab page 
and you can download here the dot files that you need for example with i3 you have my config file here and you can download it you can clone the repository with git clone uh, on your machine and you know and you can just pull down the files like that if you want to now in another video i'm going to show you also how you can create your own gitlab page or your own gitlab projects and manage them in your computer but i just wanted to show you this because it's new on the website other than that here i have a blog where i basically post normally the videos that i post on the channel this is really more like a landing page uh, more than a fully blown website um, but it's enough for what i do now on linux and down here i have just a small section about about myself and there is here a notification if you want to get notified when new blog posts or videos are going to be uh, uploaded and then here I get in touch form and down here my social feeds now another thing that I would like to also update you on is that I am working also on a reddit link um, I will be opening up reddit probably soon I'm not sure when um, I'll have to see depending on the schedule I have um, but uh, once I do I will definitely let you know because reddit will be definitely a great place to you know to discuss and to communicate uh, especially if you have any other question any technical questions that we can discuss more in depth because on the YouTube channel is fantastic for the interaction with you guys but sometimes it's for me difficult to uh, you know to look for comments which are months uh, in videos that are months old I try my best to catch all of them but sometimes it's not easy so I read it will probably be um, a better choice and it's gonna be coming up soon but I will let you know when anyway um, this is all you know to say that i wanted to actually really be um working on this website and on the channel and on the background also with linux and i wanted to be able actually to manage everything myself so i found linode which is great for that and i'm sure there are also other uh, alternatives which i am not aware of um that are also great but i'm right now i'm really happy with linode so i'm gonna use this for a while and uh, it's great because it's it's uh, it allows you to manage everything yourself you can basically build up your machines and i think i just really scratched the tip of the iceberg in Linux because you can do so many more so many more cool stuff there by the way in the next videos are gonna be a little bit more focused about system administration um, because this is a topic which is really close to my heart and i have to say i really like linux administrator stuff it's really cool and it really makes you go deep into the uh, Linux system and to understand how it's working. And of course, you know, after that, there is the, there is the engineer uh, certification, which is even deeper than that. And that's probably a little bit more complex, but that's going to be in the future, one step at a time. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy also the future videos that I already prepared. And if you have any other question or any other wish, just post in the comments below or reach me on Twitter or contact me via email through the website if you want to i will try of course always to answer you as soon as i can and i thank you again very much for watching the video guys and i'll see you very soon in the next one